three years ago, I made this super cute video a few months ago and I just looked at it today and I was like, wow, I actually made money. It's cute for a number of reasons. Number one, my son was just a baby at the time and I loved uh, bringing him with me to videos on the internet and just having him be there as I continued to grow my online business. And number two, at that time, three years ago, I was still just a budding brand new online entrepreneur doing whatever I could to support myself and my new little baby. So I was doing everything that I could knowing that eventually it would grow to something big, but I was so excited to be getting $25 a month from YouTube. I thought that was the coolest thing ever where I could make videos, post them online and then get paid from it. And I hope that you have that same level of excitement, even if it's a little bit of an income or revenue or something different. Celebrate those wins, even if they aren't massive drastic. I've had a slow growth journey especially on YouTube. And I don't want anyone for a second to think that I just jumped on and all of a sudden was successful. And even now I'm still sort of just slowly growing and it's great. I mean, the curve's a little bit higher, so I'm able to grow a little bit faster, but I haven't had viral videos. I haven't had any huge massive wins, but I celebrate each success along the way. And before I get to talking about how much I'm earning now from YouTube and the YouTube Partner Program, I want you to understand some of the numbers and metrics and how YouTube actually pays its content creators. Because that's what essentially we are when we're posting videos online, we are creators. We are content creators creating the videos for people to consume. So here's how it works. To join the partner program on YouTube, you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers and accumulated 4,000 hours of watch time within a 12 month period. So that means within a rolling 12 months, the last 12 months, you have to have at least 4,000 hours of watch time, people watching your videos. And the reason for this is because I think that YouTube wants to make sure the people that they are partnering with are serious about what they're doing. They're not just jumping on right away to earn a quick dollar. Because even with a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, those metrics don't matter for how much you're getting paid. Once you hit those minimums, it doesn't matter anymore how many subscribers you have. It doesn't matter how much watch time you have. What matters is two things. Number one, how many views you're getting. And number two, your actual content. I know, crazy, right? So people who create content on different topics may get paid more or less depending on what topic they're creating it on versus someone else on a different topic. And I'm gonna cover a couple of those topics, which topics pay more and which topics pay less. And also know that YouTube can see everything about your video. It knows what you're talking about in your video. So even if you don't have a obvious title, you didn't put any descriptor, description or tags or anything in your video, YouTube still knows how to categorize your video based on what you're saying. So it creates you know, those automatic captions so it can read what you're saying oftentimes. So it, can, it knows what kind of content that you're creating and putting up based on what's in your video and it does make a difference. The primary way that creators get paid from the YouTube Partner Program is through advertisers. So companies will pay YouTube to place ads on videos and then YouTube takes their cut and then they give you a cut. And here are some acronyms that you need to know. The first one is CPM, cost per mil, which is how much an advertiser pays per thousand views with that ad. And so we actually don't have to know about that one too much. It's not going to base how much we make. That's how much the advertisers are paying. What we want to know as creator is the RPM, which is revenue per thousand or revenue to per mil, so per thousand views. So revenue, how much money are you making per thousand views? And this is going to go up or down based on your content and a few other factors, but content is a big deal. And it does not increase or decrease based on number of subscribers or number of views. It really is just dependent on your, co your content. So somebody could be making $1 per 1,000 views 
Somebody else could be making $10 per 1,000 views. So you could have the same number of views on a video and make a tenth of what a different topic might be crea- uh, might be making. So a few of the, the higher money-making topics are things like how to make money, social media tips, uh, sometimes some tech stuff, but a lot of it revolving around business and finance tend to have a higher RPM. So advertisers pay a lot more money to put ads on those kinds of videos, whereas low paying video topics include makeup, parenting, minimalism, those videos that people are watching that they're not likely to click off of. Whereas if someone's watching financial wealth building videos, they're more likely to spend money. And I have a few videos that are performing much better than others in the, in the um, RPM, from the RPM metric, but they might not be performing great for gaining me new subscribers. So how you base your success is totally up to you. In this video, I am just talking about um, the analytics for how to make money, not necessarily how to gain new subscribers or how to get more people to watch your videos. So they will pay, you know, let's say you get $1 per 1,000 views. So every time you have 1,000 views on your channel, on average, you get $1. If you had 100,000 views, on your channel, on all your videos, or maybe just on one video, and that RPM is $1, then you'll be making $100. And the range is typically between like $2 and 15, but every video is gonna be a little bit different. So the range for me, a couple of my videos, the uh, social media video I just did, what I do not post to social media, is up at about $30 per thousand views. And then another one that's pretty high is my acuity scheduling software video where I give a demo of a online software. Advertisers love that kind of video because it's talking about a software that they they then can advertise their software or something that works in combination with that software. You know what I mean? So yoga videos actually don't do great with RPM. You have to get a lot more views on your channel in order to match the same amount of income that someone with a financial wealth building uh, channel would have. And with yoga videos, you also do not want ads in the middle of your videos. So you have options. You can place ads at the beginning, in the end, and also in the middle like a commercial. And if you're you're a yoga channel, you wanna take those mid-roll ads out. So it gives you even a little bit less opportunity to place ads on your videos when they're just in the beginning and the end. But that's the nature of being a, a yoga teacher on YouTube. So now I'm going to tell you how much I make on YouTube on average, and actually just take a look at my numbers for the last 28 days. And I'm gonna give it more of like an average or just uh, simple math to create, make simple math, but it's it's about that. So for the past two years, I've been getting about 40 to 50,000 views per month on my channel. And most of them are monetized. Some of them are not. Some videos I can pick and choose if I want to put ads on them or not. Um, a lot of them are, and my main videos that you see publicly often do have ads on them. I don't post a lot of yoga videos. What you'll see is a lot of social media tech and business tutorials for yoga teachers. So I do allow there to be ads in the middle of those videos. And so 50, let's say I have 50,000 views. My RPM is actually kind of high. I think it is anyway, compared to most yoga teachers. I talked to a couple of other yoga teachers and theirs are hovering around $7, which actually is pretty good. So they make $7 per thousand views. Mine's up at about $10. So $10 on average for all of my videos. Like I said before, some of my videos have 20 to $30 RPM. Some of them are down in the $2 range, $3 range. So the average is about 10 and it goes up and down here and there. So if I have a $10 RPM, and I have 50,000 views, I get $10 per every thousand. So divide 50,000 by a thousand and that makes 50 times 10. I am now making $500 per month on YouTube. On average, 
And it's been kind of the same for the past couple years. Even when I had 9,000 subscribers and now I have up over 18,000, I'm still making about the same because my views on my videos have stayed about the same. And sometimes I post more, sometimes I post less. So there is a little bit of a wave here and there, but in general, it is going up as I continue to be more consistent with posting new videos every week. And in 2019, my RPM, my revenue per thousand was at like $2. And in 2020, it was at $6. And it just kind of went up from there, but it's not because uh, I had more subscribers or because I was posting more videos. It's because my content started to shift. So I started to shift from yoga tips and yoga teaching tips, more so to the technology and video side and how to make money, which is what I'm actually really passionate about and have a lot of fun talking about. Videos like this, sharing with you how and what it means to make money as a yoga teacher and sort of getting rid of any stigma or taboo topic around money. Money is just a resource that allows us to help even more people. So YouTube is paying me about $500 a month through the YouTube partner program to place ads on my videos. But that is just a fraction of what I'm earning from what I create on YouTube. And the reason I'm saying this is because I don't want you to be dependent on what YouTube is paying you in order to build a successful business. So where I actually get a lot of my income from is by directing people off of YouTube and into my membership, into my courses, uh, working with me privately or one-on-one -on, -one on coaching. Maybe it's private lessons or yoga classes. So it's off of YouTube where I, I direct people to say, to work with me further, go over here. You'll notice this with all of the big name yoga teachers on YouTube, most of them have a membership or an app. So yeah, YouTube is probably paying them something from the YouTube partner program, but it is not the bulk of their income. They did not start posting YouTube videos to make money from YouTube. And YouTube, just like any social media site, could go away as quickly as it came. And for no reason whatsoever, it can decide we're gonna kick you out or we're not, we're going to demonetize you or whatever, they have the final say. They are the business that has control over what you post on YouTube, so you never know. So directing people from YouTube into your actual programs is really the best way to start generating money as a YouTube yoga teacher. The second way that you can earn income from YouTube, whether or not you're in the partner program or not, is affiliate marketing. By linking in your description different affiliate links to products, to Amazon, to courses, to things that you endorse and you make a commission on. And anyone can join uh, affiliate programs. Most big companies have affiliate programs where then they give you a special link that you copy and paste and put into your description, or maybe you, you tell people in your videos, go down in the description to click the link to the microphone I'm using, which is what I did so much over the last couple of years. All of my microphone videos have affiliate links to the cables and the cords and the things that you would need in order to, uh, to have, have the products that I'm using and what I recommend. And if you're a yoga teacher, it doesn't have to be tech equipment. It can be an online course or the teacher training that you took online, you can become an affiliate for whatever it is that you want. Now, some companies don't have affiliate programs if they're really small, some of them do. All you have to do is get a link to be able to track who buys from you and you can make a commission anywhere from 4%, which is what Amazon pays to 50%. So your goal as a yoga teacher getting on YouTube for the first time is to gain trust, to put yourself out there, build confidence so that when you do have something to offer, your audience is going to jump all over it. Just like what I'm gonna tell you right now, the main call to action is I do have a mentorship program. It's a membership where I give you how to run a business successfully as a yoga teacher from home. It includes yoga sequencing and teaching tips. It also includes a business course that can be very helpful for you and accountability. So if you want to learn more about that more than what I'm teaching you on YouTube, if I've gained the trust and the know, like, and trust from you, the viewer, then you can check it out in my description or go to ashesyoga.com forward slash membership. And that's all. And if you're on a computer watching this, I'm going to 
gonna post a couple other videos here that are also helpful to watch. And I hope this was helpful for you. Make sure you leave a comment and let me know if this was insightful, confusing, or exciting for your future on YouTube.